continuing our coverage here from ITSEC 2010 in Orlando. I'm talking to Eric from Industrial Smoke and Mirrors. And if you would, you guys have a great booth here. It looks uh, really awesome. Tell me a little bit about what your company does. Well, we, uh, we make motion queuing systems for uh, fixed wing and rotor aircraft. Uh, we also use uh, queued seats for, they also have motion with them. Uh, combined with the platform itself, the shaker platform that it's on, uh, gives a pilot the feel and, and uh, motion of an actual aircraft, his onset cues for flight time and things like that, and his maneuvers in the aircraft. Sure, that makes sense. Well, I see that you got one simulator uh, rolling behind us. If you don't mind, let's uh, move the camera over there. Let's take a look at it. Sure. That's an MH-65D, okay. and that's going to be for the United States Coast Guard. Excellent. Let's take a look. Well, the pilot right now is uh, doing a takeoff from a airfield. He's uh, hovering in, a, in the MH-65D. He's feeling the cueing from the motion platform itself and also the four-axis uh, motion seat. He can experience uh, pitch roll, yaw, and sway uh, through the seat back and also uh, the same features uh, through the, the motion platform itself. It's kind of a unique, unique way to do an uh, operational flight simulator. Uh, this thing can be put in an actual classroom as opposed to a huge uh, simulator building like a full-up motion uh, sure. operational flight trainer that's more commonly used. Uh, so Eric, I, you know, as we're walking through the show here at ITSEC, uh, I haven't seen anybody else that has platforms like this. It's pretty unique for the show? Uh, yeah, it pretty much is. There aren't, uh, there aren't uh, any other ones out here that I know of that are combined with a vibration platform and an onset queuing seats. Uh, at, the, at this point in time at the show. I so, have not seen one either. So uh, what's the next step then for this uh, this simulator setup? Uh, where, where's it going to go next and what's the next step? We'll go to our customer who will put a cockpit on it and populate it with instrumentation and eventually end up at the Aviation Training School in Mobile, Alabama with the Coast Guard. Oh, that's excellent. Ryan Dorn, continuing coverage here from ITSEC uh, 2010. Eric uh, from Industrial Smoke and Mirrors. Thanks so much, buddy, for uh, appreciate it very much. No problem.